Yo, what's good like Jesus, please? The tidings to you. Glory be to God, Jesus, our mother and father. Let us go forth naturally as we should, with faith, honesty, joy, and enthusiasm, and reject the negative notions of hopelessness, of dependence on things, of anticipation of what may come, and trying to force events. Let us go forth. Uh, so it's like throwing a rock at a bear and the the bear doesn't know what's hit it it's not capable of working that out and so the the bear is angry because he's had a rock thrown at it um, and you know he's gonna lash out at um, anyone because a bad-tempered bear is gonna lash out that is the analogy of you know what's happened with the coronavirus we are the bear the rock is the coronavirus and we know it's uh, not a natural virus because it's a chimera virus it's two viruses stuck together and that's why we get two attacks from it I've had my second attack and the first and the second one wasn't nearly as strong as the first uh, you're not going to be able to see it on this camera but I've got a very tiny groove in that thumbnail now on the first coronavirus so it's a groove going across the nail not down the nail. Well, on the first coronavirus I had a groove on both thumbnails you know a bit deeper so this time I've only got a slight little groove on that thumbnail it corresponds with the time when I had a little bit of a tickle and um, my son was also uh, going having an issue with it. Um, Right, so I'm going to do this thing now, what I said in my last video about the, the waves and, um, you know, ha have, I, have I got it right? Have I, have I just, because I know there's a daily wave, monthly wave, right? So I got to the point where, yeah, it's, a, it's an even day. I know that this month, the days where I'm, the change is positive and I'm coming up is going to be on the even days all right so then I'd remember and then the next month oh yeah it was even days last time 31 days in this month so it's going to be odd ones so I kind of been doing that and and sometimes I wondered at points you know have I have I remembered this wrong have I have I done something wrong here so I've written down here because I had to sort of resense it um, so on the 15th of October, the daily was a good day. So there you can see the wave. At 1 p.m., you're hitting the bottom. But what you've been having for that day, the changes have been positive. The changes, you were going down, but the changes are positive. So you're going up. And the so the monthly on the 15th of October, I'm saying, uh, just past the peak. So... Um, heading down on the month wave and about to uh, incur positive changes on the month wave so in order to see if I've done this oh crap got to plug the internet in in order to see if I've done this correct I need to go back to some old videos when I was talking about this and 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 let's see and then we can do a, a day a day calculator thing so have i got this on screen capture now no, I haven't. oh darn it is there a pause yes uh is it carried on yep right so I've got to go back to a video of mine 
when I was talking about these mood waves and then we can do a date calculator for that 99 subscribers Ooh. when will we get a hundred <laughs> there we go that's got to be a good one oh yeah are we on um, probably what is mood? see what I'm seeing yet because I've I'm got feeling, to fix that Right. What affects your... Shush. Right, so this was on February the 11th, 2019. Mood. Well, standing in some dog poo. <laughs> but we have not That I've heard of saying this. So this is exclusive. This is a secret of the universe... Things I don't know when there. I said the um, the moods, the the daily, monthly, and yearly mood changes are kind of slightly compensated by feeling how my the other half of my soul is. So if I'm going up. When I'm going up, my other half of my soul is going down. So when I'm in tune with my soul and my other half of my soul, into its sort of fastest mode. One of the reasons I didn't but, prepare for this is because um, then you'll think I'm cheating. Like, <laughs> you know, in the film uh, about Troy, the gods can bless you in the morning and curse you in the afternoon. That can happen. So, yeah. Ugh. Mood. I don't think I mentioned it in that one. Where's the 222? It might be on the Faithful Philosopher. Dom, dom, dom! I make a lot of videos. <laughs> Why don't I do a search? Okay. Listen up, listen good. Because I'm spitting some truth at you right now that I've been thinking about for a long time, been honing it down. Men, as men are on the wave going down the bottom, women are doing the opposite. And we cross, and we crisscross, and they're up, and we're down, and we're up, and they're down. And that's because we should be looking after each other, you know, when we're up and down instead of scrub. It's just that truth, and you can... It keeps things fresh, it keeps things interesting. I'm um, in November. And by that time, their yearly mood will have gone down a bit. So they're not going to be as up as they are right now. And it's always... Stop meeting like this. I've got to stop seeing the 22s. Right, I'm seeing the 22s all the time. Um, anyway. And I had this thought yesterday. And well, not just yesterday. I mean, uh, the moon moods, right? Moon moods. 
That was a sh a rubbish curve. <laughs> So you're born, Ugh. and your mood just goes up. You don't even know why. <laughs> it does. I'm noticing with this two-day one, it seems to be something to do with four o'clock. I didn't even know what time it was in. That, around that time, now I, so I'll stick, stick with this, so four o'clock, Something happens. What's that thing with the ganja lately? 4.20? So maybe it's 4.20. It's not. Maybe. Maybe 4.20. And maybe it is for everyone at the same time, right? right. 4.20. You're either on, on the top of your curve or on... Right, I did feature it in one of the Yeltra Nepets videos, so that's quite a while ago. Uh, I think I was doing it on the later ones. The low built high. I know I did. Key workers. I did it on one of them. I did it on one of them. Ah, so annoying. So then, that was that. Right. Let's have a look at this. True profit for 2020. Now I wrote this at the beginning of 2020. This bunch, Fabian, Fabian Society. Uh, yeah. And actually this does link in with their symbology will be their dad. Lockdown plus 5G getting a fix on our movement identity. Here it is. Done that. On the daily, men hit their bottom at noon today. Right. Streamed live on 10th of April. So. 10th of April, right? It wouldn't have been after 12 o'clock. I don't think. I was doing them in the, either in the day or the evening. So, I just said then 10th of April. Well, that took ages, didn't it? See? Authenticity takes time. 10th of April 2020. <clears throat> and I said... Men are just reaching their peak here, women reaching their trough. That's but right. on the daily, men hit their bottom at noon today and are currently. So hit the bottom at noon today, 10th of April. So that's the same as the 15th of October. So hitting the bottom is a good day because the changes you're having during the day are positive. Approaching the halfway point. So, um, the interesting thing I just want to say about this so, as you're heading up this point here, so you've been going steady, you're it's going up, moon. but you, you haven't changed direction. It's when the change starts to happen that's when you feel it. So, all through this part of the curve, change is happening. So, the same here, this part of the curve change is happening that's when you're really feeling it all right you don't enjoy this bit so much but you get used to it and then as soon as you start feeling the change 
that brings a bit of optimism. So men were there at noon today and on the way up to soon begin at 6 a.m. Or, or even a bit before we'll start to feel the change. Right, so women were here and are currently whatever time it is now, 8 p.m. here. 8 p.m. On the daily wave, that is. On the monthly, we've just had a full moon, haven't we? So for women, they are starting now to hit their peak of their moon. So they are feeling the change now. A little bit less well, optimistic. Maybe. Boys feeling a bit more optimistic. And we're still pretty much in spring. So full moon. Women are... Uh, men are coming down soon to the bottom. Gosh. Okay, so I can't see that. Dum 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 Where am I? Where have I gone? <laughs> so I've just done that for tenth of April. Um right, so now let's we can calculate the moon, see if I've done a massive cock up. So tenth of April this should be uh um, an even number. Well, hang on. So, full moon, 10th of April. Uh, so, it would have been the previous full moon that I'm talking about. So, when was that? Um, uh, let's say it was the 5th of October. Okay? So, that should be an even number. So, um, so we've got the 10th of April full moon. Then we've got the, um, the next one. 9th of May so that's 1 uh, 8th of June 2 uh, 8th of July 7th of August 6th of September 5th of October yes 6 moons so I didn't cock up the moons, but that's not very difficult. There's only six. Let's see if I've cocked up the days. Because during that six month period, April to October, I have, um, <clears throat> I have, you know, felt like times where I just thought, I thought, I don't want to be having to think all the time about, um, you know what bloody day I'm on. <laughs> it's trying to pee me off, sort of thing. Right, date calculator. This is scary. <coughs> right, so again, we want <coughs> we want an even number of days. Yeah, fine, whatever. So. We don't want to include the day, the 15th of October. We want to go from the next day. So, hang on, April. Sorry, do April first. We don't want to include the 10th of April. We want to count from the next day. So from the 11th of April. From the 11th. And then we want to... Hang on, no, I want to count days. Count days to 15th of October. Now, we don't want to... It's so confusing, isn't it? Like, include end date in calculation. Well, yeah, but then do you include that date? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to know, am I? Right, oh, it tells us down there. 188 days. From and including... Da, 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 but not include... Right, so that's correct then. It's not including 
So I say I would have said don't include the Friday so I can count from the next day because I know that works. But it's included but it hasn't included the 15th which if I was counting I would. So that is correct. I had a 50-50 chance. <laughs> I got it right and I hope so I hope you know I've proved that. Like that picture? Right, there's actually something um uh we need you need to listen to. Good morning, and today I'm with Christine Klung Scholl, who's with the Institute of Good Ideas. Now we all here agree the subject needs far more discussion. We really need to be talking about these things. Um, and what do you think? Well, yes, we at the institution completely agree that we really need to be discuss discussing this so much more than we are now. We need to devote so much time, so much more time to discussing this issue. And where would, what do you think we should, um, we should begin with? Well, we ought to begin, we ought to begin discussing where we should begin discussing what we should start discussing about. We really couldn't possibly um, manage to talk about it all, you know, in this interview or anything. We really need to approach how we discuss it, where we begin, and then from there where we go, and eventually at some point I can't imagine seeing it now when we had actually finished talking about it but we certainly need to be talking about it yes. wow. that's good, mate. so that wasn't very funny was it but that's, that's uh, the mainstream media in my opinion right we're going to a new um, feature now It's tweet time, time to look at the tweets, it's tweet time, it's tweet time! <laughs> right, oh feck, I mean sorry, Donald Trump's in the way. Ugh. Um, right, when was the last time I made a video? There, there. What's that? Uh, well, so what do you think? Why did Trump-Biden debate did the moderator keep addressing Biden as vice president? Good question. Am I, yeah. If the mainstream weren't so biased, we wouldn't have to comb through the internet to get the other side. What's this? Yo! Oh yeah, the intro, you've seen that. All the attempts to tackle the virus will only delay the inevitable. Nature is boss. The sooner humanity accepts this, the better. Absolutely. Now let's have a look at this. Politics boot camp. Can't wait to debate my ideas on how to make the world a better place. Over there, lad. Get to the top and stay there. Then we'll look at your ideas. And that is a, a mob pit of punching, kicking, backstabbing gits. Sounds like it's quite good. Uh, yeah, guy got stabbed for teaching. Um, you know, why shouldn't we be able to draw a picture of Muhammad? They don't think he's God. He was a man, he was a real man. And anyway, in this country we can draw pictures of what we like. So there's no caliphate here, no fear, freedom of speech and free expression. And uh, don't don't need to be decapitated for doing that, do we? Um well I do hate one of their cartoons where he's snogging another man. In the Napoleonic era, history was made on the battlefield. Today's battlefield is in the elections of nations, armed only with ideas. 
shot from all the various information platforms. We the soldiers are free to choose a side and fight with all the fervour we can muster. Go Trump. Together against hate is something we can all agree on, but why did they have to phrase it like that? One positive word and two negative words. How about together for love? And then there's this, which I was going to show you. Over here. Yeah. on a planet 7.5 billion of us for all my life it's been work hard and prosper nations relied on 2% growth to remain afloat as we all now know the planet is suffering it can't continue then out of the blue we have this very strange situation lockdown the economy burns the thing we've all being trained to strive for is collapsing, our freedoms are restricted, the only refuge available is social media, with mainstream's bias so utterly complete. People's attention is now the world's most precious commodity. Something I wrote down. And something else I wanted to talk about <clears throat> was... Um, distraction and how I started this video talking about throwing the stone at the bear but take uh, the analogy of the magician the magician is doing a trick and he's diverting your attention over here while over here he is doing something sneakily behind his back you know that's that's how it works and you know very much what's happening you know these issues that the mainstream media are pushing you know they want to get the racism they want to you know the second you know the second thing they want to work out about the virus is how it affects black and asian and white people you know they are obsessed with it and they just seem obsessed with that in every room so it's that they wanting to divert the conversation over here so we can we can squabble amongst ourselves like 
you throw there's a couple of bears and you've thrown a stone at both of them and then they start you know blaming each other and stuff but it's very much you know keep the attention on these things which obviously you know if you want to do this you want to pick subjects which are at people's heart you know it I, they have to talk about this they have to you know while this subject is up they, they've got to talk about it. it's their opportunity in a sense you know in fact uh, one of the posts I got a bit knocked at um, on Facebook was mentioning this white privilege and I tracked back to see who had originally posted it and it's uh, a white guy my age-ish um, gay right and if you look to his previous posts they're all about a LGBT and his last one was like a, a really drabby looking place and he's put it's LGBT history month but it's not is it it's black history month and then his next post is about this white privilege thing so you know he's, he's obviously not get you know LGBT isn't on the subject at the moment with mainstream it's not being covered uh, neither is me too because oh that's a bit close to Ghislaine Maxwell they don't want us thinking about that too much um, you know that the racism is on the agenda you know we had the lockdown the lockdown was essentially ended by the Black Lives Matter protest you know, and who comes up with these two or three word phrases? Because they're purposely uh, made to, you know, not be clear and also antagonistic. You know, go straight away, then we got someone says Black Lives Matter. People say, well, yeah, all lives matter. And then someone's going to be provocative and say, well, white lives matter. You know, just, to, just so you can see how it sounds. You know, especially when we got this massive thing with COVID, everyone going mental about, even though they, there was no need for it, as I was saying. Um, but then it all gets ended with a protest. And then in Bristol, you get someone picking up a statue and chucking it in the river. Now, aren't these statues, like, nailed to the floor? I mean... Was that just a spur of a moment? I mean, fuck me, are they strong? They can just pick up a statue and chuck it in the river. I think some planning was involved in this. Um, so, and and I would say that the planning involved was, you know, all part of the... These, uh, these um, kind of clever people who are basically wanting to make us all disappear because they don't need us anymore to build the railroads and stuff you know they can have robots do pretty much anything now so they just need a few engineers and a few programmers and they're what do they need the rest of us for all right a few select can remain they have a world population of 500 million oh where have i seen that before oh yeah georgia stones it's written all over it so we're under attack and we can't really see who's throwing the stone we don't have that uh, insight yet you know just haven't thought of it or maybe we have and don't realize we have so yeah so I think that was basically it um, so sorry about the really long bit where I'm looking for the proof that of the wave stuff but um, I think it was worth it for me it was anyway so I think why not just um, play you out with the intro <laughs> yo what's good my like Jesus please the tidings to you glory be to God Jesus our mother and father let us go forth naturally as we should, with faith, honesty, joy and enthusiasm, and reject the negative notions of hopelessness, of dependence on things, of anticipation of what may come, and trying to force events. Let us go forth. Yo, 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 yo,